Hello, everyone. Dr. Evelyn here with Dr. Alondi. And hello, hello. we wanted to touch base with you. Um, and I am just so happy I wanted to reach out. I've been thinking so much of all of you as I've been on my maternity leave. And I um, have been chatting with Dr. Londi. And we just wanted to create a little something, a quick uh, shout out video to help inspire you guys just to check in saying hello and also hoping to remind you of all that you can be and that we are really here to help you at Eudaimonia Chiropractic. So Dr. Alondi, did you were telling me about how much you've just been enjoying being at the practice and how everyone's being really nice and welcoming to you, which mm -hmm. yay, thanks for being on your good behavior, everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's just very sweet to be in the practice and get to see the community that you've built there, that you've brought together and nourished in their health and wellness journey and to provide a space for them to continue forward with their health, their healing, wherever that they're at. And, you know, I can really, um, as you and I have shared in conversation, um, I can sense through the conversations I've had with those who've come in, that they have this understanding that the chiropractic adjustment is something that happens in the moment, but it's something that happens moment to moment to moment. The revisiting of coming back to the practice to have their body checked so that whatever is like a road bump in the connective chain has an opportunity to integrate through, move through so that their body can arrive into a fuller wholeness of arrival to what's truly in front of them right now. And that's part of what's inspired our conversation tonight, which yeah. is about not only shouting out to those who haven't been in, but also to show that little blip of inspiration and reminder that the regularity of care is really where the magic happens. Yeah. Um, we definitely wanted to just remind everybody that not only is chiropractic here to help you feel better, I know many of you guys have had success with your care at Eudaimonia and we're feeling really, really awesome. And then um, we want to keep it that way, right? <laughs> the last thing we want is for you guys to enter into the holidays, enter into this you know, stressful election season, whatever the outcome may be, whatever it is that's um, inevitably going to cause stress. We don't want you going into that less than a hundred percent, right? We don't want you going into that unable, not in your highest adaptable state, not in your most flexible state. Also add in that, you know, the body is this living, breathing, dynamic thing, right? It's very elastic. It's responding to whatever's coming its way. And sometimes when there's too much coming its way, the body is overloaded. This is stress. And in chiropractic, we understand that the stress is stored in the tissues of the body, the soft tissue, the connective tissue, the skeletal tissue, right? Like the beingness of you, that experience that was more stressful, whether it be elections or holidays are coming and, or maybe you just had a baby or maybe your back just went out or whatever that is, if it's overwhelming in some way, your body's going to hold a pattern that's related in direct relationship to what that is. And we're here as chiropractors to help your body move through those experiences, to integrate, to make those experiences whole within you again. So more of you is available to whatever further is coming down the road. Um, I think that's a huge reminder, especially going into this holiday season that is very still unknown what it's going to look like. Um, we just want to be the bring our best self and bring our whole self into every situation that we come into. And if you haven't touched base with everything that's been going on with you, then you're not going to be all there. You're not going to be able to absorb everything that's happening. You're not going to mm. necessarily be adapting the best to those situations that come up. Like mm. we have to take care of ourselves in order to be there, be the most present version of ourselves for our friends and for our family and for the people that we're trying to show up for, for our coworkers and everything that we're attempting to do in our lives. If we're not if we're not 100%, how can we give our best? I promise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you've just shared is, you know, it's a chiropractic practice. It's a practice. It's something that we come back to over and over again. Just like if you were to go to the gym, it's your gym workout practice, or maybe you have a meditation practice, or maybe you have 
a cooking meal prepping practice. It's a practice. It's something that you engage with over and over again. And you see each time you revisit, how is it today? How is it in this moment? In chiropractic, it's how am I now? What's there now? Where am I now? Um, as we were talking before we gathered tonight, we were sharing like one principal idea that you've um, carried through your practice with the, those who come in is the adaptation. So when we practice coming back into checking in, how am I, where am I, like what's my body today? We allow the body an opportunity to continue to adapt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's the beauty of that continuous care um, that we've talked about and definitely checking in. Okay. And again, Getting chiropractic care is a foundation for everything else that you are wanting to do in your life. I know that you have goals that you're hoping to reach at the, by the end of this year. We all have wishes and dreams and things that we'd love to achieve. And you can, if you haven't yet done that, then there's mm -hmm. going to be some changes that are going to want to occur so that those things can happen, right? And we want to be as ready and able to change as possible. So a system that's ready to adapt and ready to go and ready to see opportunity and take it, that is a system that's going to allow you to reach your goals and allow you to feel as healthy and as connected to your, your being and your purpose here um, as possible. So we really, really urge you to mm -hmm. keep coming in, keep seeing what your body is capable of, keep seeing what happens in your life when you have this foundation and this kind of alignment in your system. And um, yeah, Dr. Alandi is in the practice, right? <laughs> She's still here for uh, several more weeks. So please, please schedule with her. You do not wanna miss an opportunity to work with her. Um, we practice differently in a good way. So what it's not like the same old adjustment that you would get with me. This is a beautiful opportunity to experience um, a whole nother lens of care and a whole nother touch and a whole nother, you know, realm of sensations from a whole nother being. So please take advantage of it. And um, yeah, we're here for you. We want you to succeed. We want you to thrive. And we've just been thinking so much about you all. Yeah. A thing that you can do to stay on top of your chiropractic care, book your appointments in advance. We, um, we know that Dr. Alandi is only in the office on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Um, so especially when the holidays come up and things are just looking really different, make sure to structure out and schedule your appointments so that you don't lose track and you don't get lost in the hustle and bustle. It is so grounding to have this appointment set so that you always know that you have that to check in on and to go to and that you don't miss and then suddenly months have gone by and you're like ah where did where did the time go you know book it now set yourself up for success put it in your calendar and make it happen <laughs> ruthie says book your appointments in advance <laughs> So Dr. Londi and I are keeping the conversation going. Um, we're hoping to have several more meetings like this and we're regularly in communication. So we are here for you and we're happy to create more content for you as we go on. Um, and just keep a lookout for what's coming next from us at Eudaimonia. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Dr. Evelyn, for holding this space while you're away. And again, I've just been so grateful to be in your beautiful office with your beautiful, beautiful community. So it's been very sweet so far. Well, Ruthie and I thank you because we've been having a lot of good bonding time, haven't we, Ruthie? <laughs> All right. Bye, you guys. Bye. And uh, we'll talk soon. Yes.